All right, everybody, welcome to your second tutorial for application development with Angular 4 and PHP. And in this tutorial, first of all, let's set up Angular command line. Now, if this is your first time with Angular 4, I would actually suggest you to just go ahead and watch the Angular 4 playlist first. I have, I should have that link ready in the description because, you know, you can just follow along, but you won't be able to understand a lot of things because uh, the primary focus here is to develop a real application and not really into how Angular is working. So if you are extremely new with Angular 4 or you have never heard about it and you're like, what the heck is going on? And I used to learn about, I used to know about Angular JS. So you should probably check out the Angular 4 playlist first to get a taste about it. And when you are ready, you are free to go here and follow along with me so if you are somebody who is coming from angular 4 or has a little background then you can just pretty much go ahead and start a command line here i'm just gonna go with the windows default and if you do not know about angular cli but uh, are comfortable with angular 4 i guess it's now time to switch to angular cli first of all because it follows the best practices for your code and secondly, it's a lot easier to get started with. So for instance, what I'm going to do is write ng new and I'm going to say this is uh, my new application name. So let's just say we say this is upload images and hit enter. Now, obviously, you would need to have this Angular CLI installed. And how you do that is by NPM, which I can show you by doing something like writing npm install at the rate angular cli and then a global flag for globally installing it and once you do that you should be able to write things like ng and any command right here so yeah and for obviously for npm you need to install node.js first so you can just go ahead and uh, go to node.js.org to download and install that Okay, so we can see that it's taking some time. Uh, let's just wait for it to complete. Actually, uh, my network speed isn't that bad, but I don't know. With NPM, it takes a lot of time and all the time. So I don't know if it's something to do with NPM or if it's their repository. I don't know. Let's just wait. Okay, so we were done, I guess, five minutes ago. But uh, anyways, so once you are done with that, you should see some sort of success message. But I closed my terminal, so yeah. So what I'm going to do is go to Sublime Text. And uh, right here, you can see that we have our project open. So you might want to open it as well in your text editor, whatever you're using. And we could probably just get rid of this index.php file for now. And what I'm going to do is actually go to this folder again and command window right here. And I'm going to write ng serve so that it starts a local development server for us to see life changes. And we can just minimize that. And for now, what we see is that we get our structure and where it is the app and app component right here you can see that you have our your main module and we have this HTML file which would be pretty much the same file which would be displayed right here right so we would just get rid of all of this and what I'm gonna do is actually create some components so for that we would need to actually fire another terminal so that we can work with two and i'm gonna say ng generate and the component it is and let's just say we create a file uploader which would be kind of an uploader for the user to upload the file and we can create generate component header and let's just finally create another component component and let's just name it gallery 
Now what this would be is that we would be displaying a header which is uh, pretty much common and then we would be displaying a file uploader which would be the upload button for now at least and the gallery one would be visible when the file has been uploaded and processed and we send down links from PHP to Angular to actually show to the user. So images would go into gallery. So there we go and we should see all of our components ready. And right here inside app component what we can say is uh, inside header if we take a look we have the selector as app header so we can say app header and right here we can say app uh, file uploader if that's yep uploader and finally you could say app gallery but obviously we want gallery to be displayed only when we want it to so we would just add some conditional filtering right here but as of now if we take a look we see all of these three works okay so the next thing is actually adding bootstrap to our application and for that what i'm going to do is go to get bootstrap bootstrap and just go ahead and make use of their cdn <clears throat> and since we are not actually going a lot into bootstrap i just want to pick up the css files because we would be probably just making use of a couple of css classes so we just need to have the style sheet for that and you can just go to index and paste it right here doesn't matter for a simple application like this one now we can just get rid of this integrity and cross origin check as well because i'm pretty sure that my network isn't tampering with the css file at least because hey i guess i can trust my network that much so we have our bootstrap ready now and being loaded as well so what we can do is actually inside our header component or rather the header component html we can say that this is something like it works or rather we would just say and i guess bootstrap is not working we'll just take a look at that let's just say this is upload images and get magic back i don't know what that means but that's what actually strike me right now so we can see that uh, bootstrap is not loading probably or is it oh actually we are using the theme we need to actually get the raw one and let's just make some quick replacements here and i can just leave that but i'm just gonna get rid of that because it makes it a bit too long because the url already is a lot longer yeah so now it looks like the bootstrap is on and uh, our header is on as well so we can just center align it where is it so we can say h1 class text center like that and there you go and similarly inside our file uploader component what i want is a very basic button so we can say something like uh, um, span class button button default and i can just say something like uh, upload images but we actually need to trigger this on clicking and let's just make it center as well so again i can just say this is div class text center and this should be centered now we can actually map the upload button right here so let's just do input type of file and uh, actually that will create a problem because yeah we'll get this ugly button as well so what we can do is we can actually make this as a label and what that would do is that would help us to trigger this button whenever we click that and we can just hide this as well right so 
what I'm gonna do is uh, um, why is this okay so bootstrap is overriding that so we can go to our file uploader CSS file here and we can just say input display none I'm just doing it raw way but you would like to select it first right so yep okay looks good and now if we click we can see that we get this pop-up as the file selector very nice and now for the gallery what I want is that the gallery should not be there unless we want it to so I'm just gonna hide it for now by something like this so that it doesn't display right so we would just make use of some condition here that we have got response from the server and then only we would display this gallery so yeah that's all for this one and in the next one we'll be actually implementing the upload functionality or maybe we would just go with the php version first so that we can actually configure the back end so yeah that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one